we are going to discuss about uh, long haul networks, metropolitan area networks and access networks. Yeah. So in a long haul network, it is a network which is connecting several region or uh, national uh, nations uh, which are connected together. So we have a network which is connecting several regions or a large geographical area or uh, the national networks together. And these networks are also referred to as the core or backbone networks so that they can interconnect other long haul networks to extend the global interconnectivity between the nations. So the current uh, long haul network uh, is comprising of a point to point uh, uh, dense wavelength division multiplexing links with the optical regenerators at end to end points with uh, amplifiers for amplifying the signal as uh, EDFS or BM low fiber amplifier which are placed between the end terminals. So uh, we have a typical range of uh, 600 kilometer uh, interval over uh, the repeaters what we are going to use in this optical link. And normally it extends over 5400 kilometer and interconnects 18 cities in uh, 5 countries namely Germany, uh, France, Belgium, uh, Netherlands and the UK. So this is uh, what we consider as the uh, metros uh, or uh, national uh, networks. And coming to this, um, uh, we have uh, the metropolitan area networks which are connected uh, between uh, several cities. And uh, we have long haul optical networks with a certain range of 600 to 1000 kilometers. Extended long haul networks that is uh, referred as ELX, uh, which ranges from 1000 to 2000 kilometers. Ultra long haul networks, which ranges from 2,000 to 4,000 uh, 4, kilometers, which is ULH. So these are the data rates of uh, 2.5 Gbps over 64 channels or 10 Gbps over uh, 40 or 60 cha 40 channels and 160 Gbps for 40 channels. And uh, these are used as a submerged fiber networks between the continents over uh, thousands of uh, kilometer range. And uh, here optical amplifiers are also required to enhance the optical power in the system. So we have a line terminal equipment here, uh, then the la landing station and uh, the plants which are used and uh, between that we have several repeaters, branching points, equalizers, etc. which are used and this is point to point uh, uh, system what we are going to use. Uh, then we have metropolitan area networks. We have metro networks, which is the regional interface, which is interconnecting the access networks between the, the residential customers or uh, the business units. And MAN is very useful uh, in terms of uh, maintenance uh, as well. And again, we have uh, points of presence uh, using LT equipment in this uh, network. And so we have uh, several topologies used. Out of that, we consider the ring topologies used in the metropolitan area network here. So these are several uh, uh, metro networks which are considered. So next we have access network. The access network is an element of a public uh, telecommunication network that connects the access nodes to uh, either the individual users or uh, uh, metropolitan area networks. So users may be business uh, oriented or residential infrastructure oriented. And also we have the interconnection in the networks uh, uh, which is based on the local exchange or switching center. So this is how we have local exchange local office or exchange uh, to which we use the radio satellite or twisted pair copper wire or hybrid coaxial cable to this uh, uh, customers or consumers. So this is how we have the arrangement. So this is a hybrid fiber coaxial cable network uh, HFC which arranges from uh, hundreds to hundreds of kilometers for 500 to 2000 residential users can be connected to this at a time and it has a speed of uh, 4 kilohertz and the data bitrate of 100 mbps and this is 
of the local exchange, feeder, distributor, and unit is done. And this is the arrangement of OAT and the ONTs, optical line terminals and optical network units or network terminals. And this is how the packets are sent uh, from the OAT uh, to several OATs and this is a splitter which is going to split the packets into different parts which is required by different ONUs or ONTs, optical network unit or optical network terminal. So here we have three optical network units to which uh, the information from the OLT has to be transmitted. So that is downstream. Similarly, all these uh, packets are combined, uh, which is the upstream sent to the OLT. So this is the arrangement of OLT with the uh, Ethernet plane supervised earlier. So here we are using uh, several switches uh, for uh, the switching uh, between ONUs and uh, uh, OLTs. Again, we see that uh, the amplifier uh, mechanism which is here. And this is the arrangement of uh, uh, the dense wavelength division multiplexing used for long reach uh, point of uh, networks here which are using circulators, which are using uh, uh, EDFA amplifiers, <laughs> which are using uh, different types of fibers here, and also splitters. So finally, the customer OEMU section uh, is going to have a EMA, VAM, that is uh, electro-absorption modulator, which is integrated with the, the amplifier, SOE, that is semiconductor optical amplifier which provides the sufficient overall gain and the bandwidth to support large splitting ratios and upstream transmission rates, which is up to 10 Gbps. So this hybrid uh, uh, pond structure demonstrated uh, a total reach of 100 kilometers uh, with the potential for supporting uh, these units.